friends! Fact! I love clowns, and with their growing presence in media, I thought it would be a good time to show you how to transform into my clown character, Buttons. And also two other looks using simple techniques and affordable, easy to obtain products. The first look will ease you into clowning around. I'm starting off by applying my regular foundation, followed by NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, tracing out white shapes above my eyes and around my mouth. Then laying NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white. This product is meant to be mixed with foundation just a little bit to make it lighter and brighter, but I found that it works as a really good white base when set with white powder. It's heavily pigmented and very lightweight. Now I'm blending it, followed by setting it with the white from BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. Using a Morphe eyeshadow from the 35F palette, I'm covering my lids and drawing a line upwards. Then I'm going in with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cashmere to add some more dimensions of gold. Then I'm drawing lines downwards with NYX's Glitzy Gold Eye Pencil. Next, I'm patting on some peach blush on my cheeks and nose. Then going back over my eyes to make them more triangular and thicker. Followed by patting NYX's Vivid Brights Light Show Cream Color on my eyelids. Then using a Daiso Glitter Eyeliner. If you don't have Daiso where you live, NYX also has a very similar product. I originally drew my lips with circles on the edges, but I ended up spreading them into a more pointed smile. I'm now patting the Vivid Brights Cream Color on the end of my nose. I use a lot of different Vivid Brights colors throughout this tutorial. They are super thick and blend really well and are very vibrant. They're great and affordable replacement for like face paints. They're not greasy at all and have a sort of dried finish. I'm covering my naturally blonde eyelashes with some Wet n Wild mascara so they will match my false lashes. And I'm using some long pointy rock lash lashes. These lashes include glue, but I'm allergic to basically every eyelash glue except for Duo, which is okay because I like Duo and it has a little brush that makes applying easy and you can find it at most grocery stores or pharmacies. These rock lashes are so easy to apply because they are so long, I just press them down at each point. Then I think we are done with this particular clown look. I put my hair in one pigtail and the other down with a crown from Taobao and clothes from Fan Plus Friend. Moving on to our next look, this one is more aristocratic, if clowns could be aristocratic. Possibly more jester-like. It was inspired by my Alice and the Pirates dress. Electric Circus in the Moonlight Night. Beginning with the white Pro Foundation Mixer, I use it all over my face this time. Blend it and set it again with white powder from BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. Going in with a blue from the BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes palette in the corners of my eyes, I'm doing a sort of reverse eyeshadow and creating shapes with the negative space. I'm also outlining my lip area. Going back in with a darker color from the same palette to add depth, then blending. Now I'm stippling another Vivid Brights blueprint to add splatter paint effect. I'm doing that around my eyes and mouth. I decided to blend it more around my mouth. I also did the stippling with Endless Skies Vivid Bright and then went back and forth between the two colors. Using a heart-shaped cookie cutter, I gently press it to my cheek and brush on a purple from the Modern Mattes palette, creating a fun blush look with negative space. Then I drew a line downwards with the gold Vivid Brights I used in the last look.
and going back in with the same glitter from before. Followed by drawing on my clown nose with the cookie cutter upside down. I like how this shape looks on my nose. It's fun to experiment with clown makeup because you can kind of reshape your face features. I used Blueprint and Love Overdose mixed to get this purple color. I'm painting my lips with Ruby Kisses Grey Matter Lipstick. I'm making my lip shape slightly larger and rounder, then pointing the edges and connecting them. Using the same purple as my cheeks, I'm covering my neck to create more contrast to my face. Oh, I also covered a pair of lashes with the Vivid Bright Light Show and applied them off camera. Final step, I'm painting my bottom lashes with NYX White Liquid Eyeliner. Anytime you see me with white bottom lashes, this is how I do it. Now it's time to become Buttons. The face of Buttons is actually a mask, but I wanted to recreate it using makeup. First step, I'm applying the same white base. Then set it with setting spray. I set each of my clown looks at the end, but I'm setting the base of this one so that I can wipe away any fallout easier. Next, with black eyeshadow, I'm tracing Button's crazy thick eyeliner. Also, if you are new here, Button's is my OC. She's not from anything but my imagination. And I brought her to life working at Not Scary Farm. I'm using masking tape to create the triangle shapes. Another reason I set my base. For this look, I'm using almost entirely colors from NYX's Ultimate Shadow Palette Brights. Also, for all of these looks, I don't have much brows, but if you do have brows, you can glue stick them down before the base. I can't really demonstrate this, but it's a common step in drag tutorials, so you can find a lot of videos on it. Moving right along, I set this. While it's still slightly tacky, I go in with another layer of shadow to make the color more vibrant. After I removed the tape, it did take away a little bit of my base, which I cleaned up a little bit, but it doesn't really matter too much because later on I'm gonna make Button's face really dirty and the mask's supposed to be creepy and dark and crackly, so it doesn't have to have a perfect finish. Now I'm applying another shade from the same palette and blending it out as blush. Then I'm going over the shadow with liquid liner and drawing a line across the bottom where the tears will start. I stupidly covered what I was doing with the mirror. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to start the tears, I drew lines to place them, then connected them with curved lines on either side. I accidentally leaned out of frame for a lot of this. I'm sorry. Total fail. I used my liquid eyeliner, but a cream color or gel liner would be a lot better for this because liquid liner cracks and feels heavy but this was all I had at the time. Now I'm drawing where the stitches across my forehead will go. Another trick, I'm tracing around the lid of an eye pencil to make a round stencil and then I stamp it to start placing my buttons. I repeat that with varying size caps. Then I freehand a couple of buttons and add stitches. You can see the tears process a little better on this eye, but I still leaned out a lot. Whoopsies. Now for my nose, I'm using a lipstick to draw a circle around the tip of my nose, then sealed it with eyeshadow. Using the same lipstick color, I'm drawing my lips pointier and bringing the edges downwards to make a frowny face. Again, I went out of frame. I'm sorry. Hopefully it still makes sense of what I did. With shades again from the Ultimate Brights palette, I'm coloring the buttons in. I also drew lines and X's in the centers, which I forgot to film. Patience, patience, we're almost done now. 
Then I'm coloring in my lids with black eyeshadow. Lastly, I'm shading in my face to make it look kind of uglier and creepier, covering my neck with black eyeshadow as well to look less healthy and dirty. Random touch-ups, setting spray, and we're done. Carnival at Not Scary Farm was always given notes to be scarier and darker. You could also do this makeup without all of the black smudges. It was just a necessity for my job, so that's the way she came out. Thanks so much for watching. If you recreate any of these looks or anything inspired by them, please tweet them at me because I would love to see. And please comment below with what you want to be for Halloween. And as always, stay lovely. Thank you.